Let's talk about inflammation. We've learnt a lot over time, and we now understand inflammation is the result of the immune system's response to injury, aggression, or infection. But what do we know about its treatment throughout history? Since the days of Hippocrates and the discovery of anti-inflammatories, the method of treating inflammation has followed very similar patterns. It was not until the last quarter of the 20th century when a change in perspective led to a better understanding of the inflammatory response. The discovery of specialized pro-resolving mediators, or SPMs, was a crucial revelation by Dr. Charles Serhan and his research, instituting a new era in immune nutrition and medical research. So, how are SPMs defined? SPMs, or Specialized Pro-Resolving Mediators, active metabolites of EPA and DHA fatty acids, are a family of lipid mediators, indisputable protagonists in the resolution of inflammation process. Some are active mediators and others are substrate. Today, given the discovery of SPMs, we understand resolution of inflammation is part of an active process with established enzymatic routes. Programmed and signaled by SPMs from the beginning to the end, the body's return to homeostasis. Until the end of the 20th century, inflammation was thought to be terminated due to a dilution of mediators, elucidating a passive process. Traditional anti-inflammatories work by inhibiting the inflammatory response, therefore only treating the symptoms and preventing not only the natural resolution of inflammation, but often encouraging chronification. Let's now analyze the steps of the inflammatory response and the relationship to SPMs. Upon injury or harm to cells, the body releases chemicals that trigger an immune response, therefore dilating blood vessels. The objective? Cell recruitment from the immune system, immediately releasing neutrophils and leukocytes to counteract the injury. Mediation of this phase is primarily executed by omega-6 arachidonic acid lipid mediators, prostaglandins and leukotrienes. This first phase is referenced as pro-inflammatory, resulting in recruitment of neutrophils, PMN, targeting the initial action responsible for the injury. If the immediate assessment is pro-inflammatory in character, a transition to pro-resolutive action is taken. This transition in the response, or lipid mediator class switching, initiates the change to the resolution phase, limiting the recruitment of neutrophils and pro-inflammatory mediators and promoting the change of phenotype of macrophages, which transition from pro-inflammatory M1 to pro-resolutive M2. At this point, SPMs play a leading physiological role at the cellular level by stimulating, through its signaling capacity, the phagocytosis and epherocytosis by pro-resolutive macrophages M2, clearing cellular debris and the remaining pathogens in order to return the damaged tissue to homeostasis. The resulting happy ending is possible due to the specialized function of SPMs. But what happens if we don't have enough SPMs in the body? Does inflammation resolve? SPMs limit the magnitude and duration of acute inflammatory response, so a lack or imbalance of lipid mediators can lead to a persisting pro-inflammatory state. Why? Because the immune system continues to generate pro-inflammatory compounds instead of pro-resolving mediators that facilitate phagocytosis, thus creating a vicious cycle of reinfection and accumulation that contributes to chronic, unresolved inflammation. A lack of SPMs can be attributed to chronic inflammatory diseases such as cardiovascular, obesity, osteoarthritis, cancer, diabetes, etc. Therefore, the exogenous administration of SPMs can strengthen the immune system, 
and the ability to respond to aggressions resulting from inflammation. This is how SPMs perform. A promising discovery in the field of immune nutrition and vast potential to benefit resolution of inflammatory-based diseases, thus improving quality of life. Welcome to a new era, the era of SPMs.